Uh, Kelsey? Kelsey? Uh, hey. Hey. hey! Hey! Okay, sorry I'm a little late for the meeting. You're I have okay. a few things to take care of before it starts. Could you handle the good news report without me? Oh, absolutely. Okay, I have some great okay. news. Okay. Oh, okay. See you. I'll right. be back. Be safe. Uh, Bye. Uh, okay. Oh, hey guys, guess what? I just got a good news report. You know what that means. Whistles! Oh, good news report! Good news report! Yay! Good news! Yay! Alright. This just in. Last week, a group of our very own explorers and friends took some of their time to make cards for one of our local fire stations. Yeah, you want to see a picture? Yeah, look right here. Yeah, they got together and decided they wanted to thank the men and women who help keep us safe and fight fires in our community. Yeah. In fact, one of the very own firefighters is a man named Mr. John. This is Lincoln and Eleanor's daddy. Yeah. Hey, Mr. John. Yeah, thanks for keeping us safe. Hope you're safe too. Man, thank you guys so much for writing cards for them and sharing this good news. Oh, it's given us something great to talk about this week and our special good news report. Thank you. Hey, oh, where'd Luke go? Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, I know Luke did the good news, but did he have to run off maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure where he is. I'm so excited to tell you guys about something though because my good friend Matthew, he just turned nine years old. And yesterday I got to go to his party. It was so fun. There was cake and ice cream and a pinata. And man, when it was my turn, I like, I got the bat and I swung as hard as I could. I knocked a piece off, but it was another friend who really knocked it and candy went everywhere. It was so fun and he got a lot of great presents. One of the coolest ones, his parents got him one of those new Nintendo Switches. You know, it's like a little Nintendo that you hold and you can like play games on it. It was so cool and he was so excited. He said he had wanted one for a whole year. Yeah, everyone was wanting to look at it. Have you guys seen one of those? Or Oh, yeah, you even have one? Oh, that's lucky. Yeah, I know you want one. They're pretty cool. Well, I was ready for the meeting, but I don't know where Luke is. Any ideas what we should do? Hold on. I think I hear someone coming. Do you hear that? Maybe it's Luke. Oh, guys, this is Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe. This is Roscoe, our friend. Yeah. And look, he's joined the Explorers Club. That's right. I love the Explorers Club. Oh, are you okay, Roscoe? It's hard to climb that rope, right? That was a really long climb. I know. I climbed it earlier oh. today to deliver the good news, and I was worn out afterwards. What good news? What's the good news? Well, there were so many good news. We love to share good news about our explorers doing awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so wait. Some of you have already been in the good news. But if you're doing something awesome about exploring or reciting your memory verses or singing some of our songs, get your parents to take a video and send it. We're so excited to share good news. Oh, I love good news too. And guess what? I was telling them all about Matthew's party. Wasn't that so fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Oh, he, and I mean, he got some great presents. Yeah, he did. He did. It, what's wrong? Is something wrong, Roscoe? Well, you know that one present he got? Do you mean the Nintendo Switch? I was just telling them about how cool that was, right? Oh, no. What? What is it, buddy? Well, you see, he let me borrow it. Oh, you're, that's awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. But then I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah? And... I dropped it. Like, you dropped it on the floor? No. Like, you dropped it in your lap? No. What do you mean, Roscoe? I dropped it in the... Toilet! What? Roscoe, you cannot be serious. You dropped the new Nintendo Switch 
In the toilet? I didn't mean to, Cassidy. I got nervous. I didn't want to lose the switch. So I took it with me into the bathroom and I dropped it in the toilet. Oh, Roscoe. Ah. No. Oh, what did Matthew say when you told him? Wow. Haven't told him yet. You haven't told him yet? No, I... I'm scared oh. to. Roscoe, it's Matthew's Nintendo Switch. What do you mean you haven't told him yet? Well, I, it was an accident, and I don't want him to be mad, and I know I really like it, but I'm just scared. I don't know what to do. Well, Roscoe, I know that you love and follow King Jesus. Don't you know what he wants you to do? Well, I think he wants me to, to tell my friend what happened. Guys. Don't you think that he should tell his friend what happened? Isn't that the right choice to make? Yeah, they think so. Roscoe, are you afraid to tell? Even though you know that's what God wants you to do, you're feeling nervous? Yeah, I'm scared. What are you scared of, Roscoe? I don't lose a friend. Yeah, I do understand that, Roscoe. Oh, Roscoe, I'm just thinking about the perfect Bible story for us to read. Yeah, Did yeah. you know something super similar happened right in our Bible and our scriptures? Really? Yeah, so we should explore. Oh, wait, Luke's not here. Oh, Captain, I, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I saw Luke all the way over here. Oh, what's he doing? Well, he heard the ice cream truck, so it might be a while. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he probably won't be upset if we start the meeting without him. When he gets back from his ice cream treat, we can catch him up on all of it. Okay, Roscoe, you're in the Explorers Club. I'm in the Explorers Club. They're all in the Explorers Club. Should we go ahead and start our meeting? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's okay, start. okay. First things first. We got to recite our Res Explorers Club pledge. All right, is everyone ready? Cassie. Yes. Will you hold my hand up for me? I'm tired of climbing. Yes, I will help you. All right, everyone hold up your hand. I hereby accept. I hereby accept. The Explorers Club call. The Explorers Club call. To love God with all my heart. To love God with all my heart. To love my neighbor as myself. To love my neighbor as myself. To explore God's word and world. To explore God's word and world. Deep and wide. Deep and wide. To become more like King Jesus. To become more like King Jesus. Perfect. Nice job. Okay, we're going to read now. You stay put and I'm going to get my Bible and sit down on the trunk. Okay, okay. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to use our big Bible and look up our verse. Okay, it's in the book of Proverbs. There's a lot of good wisdom and advice in Proverbs. So we're going to go there. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Oh, five's my favorite number. Probably. Yes, this is so great. You're going to love it. This is going to help you, Roscoe. We're going to figure it out. Okay, thank you. All right, Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Oh. You want to repeat it after me, Roscoe? Yeah. Trust in the Lord. Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Very good. Oh, I'm so excited to share this story. You're going to love this. It's going to be so helpful for us to figure out your problem. This story is called The Present, okay? And it's the present. Like a Christmas present? Maybe like a birthday present. Oh, that makes me feel bad. It's okay, Roscoe. Okay, it comes from Genesis 22. Do you remember um, Abraham and Isaac from last week? Yeah, you watched, right, Roscoe? You were at our meeting. So he, um, God promised Abraham an amazing present that was his son, Isaac, remember? Do you remember he made big, big time promises about all he was going to do through Abraham's family, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's where we're picking up this story. God knew that his secret rescue plan could only work if Abraham trusted him completely. 
God had to make sure Abraham would do whatever he asked. So, a few years later, God asked Abraham to give him a present. That doesn't sound so bad, does it? Abraham liked giving God presents. He gave God his animals. They were called sacrifices. And they were a way to say, I love you, to God. Hey, Kelsey? Yeah. What's a sacrifice? Well, a sacrifice is when you give something that's important to you, like your animal that you use for food or for working your fields. Or we might give up something like TV or even eating a meal. And it's a way to say, God, we know you're more important than our things, and we trust you to take care of us. Oh. So he might give his lamb to sacrifice, and he might be a little worried that he don't want to have something to eat because he gave away the lamb he was going to eat. But it's a way of saying, God, I trust you to take care of me. Is it kind of like when I give some of my allowance to the church? Absolutely. Oh, you could okay. keep that for yourself to make sure you have enough money to buy what you want and need. But instead, you're giving it away and saying, I trust you, God, instead. Yeah. Does that make sense, Roscoe? Yeah, thank you. So this was a way for Abraham to say he loved God. By this time, God didn't want, but this time God didn't want a lamb or a goat. God wanted Abraham to give him something much more, much, much more. Ooh. He wanted Abraham to give him his son. What? Do you do you think he means the promised son? His only son, the son he loved, Isaac? I don't know. I mean, it does seem a little crazy. He would go through all of that, giving them a son when he was really old, just to have him sacrifice him. I thought it was the son he, he waited forever for. Exactly. Let's read and find out. Put his boy on the altar and kill him as a sacrifice? How could God want him to do such a terrible thing? Abraham didn't understand, but he knew that God was his father who loved him. And so Abraham trusted him. Wow. Early the next morning, Abraham and Isaac set off. They climbed the steep stony trail up the mountain. Isaac carried the wood on his back and his father carried the knife and the coals. Ugh. I'm getting nervous. Papa, Isaac said, we have everything except we forgot the lamb for the sacrifice. God will give us the lamb, son, said Abraham. They built an altar and laid the wood on top. Abraham asked his son to climb on top of the wood. Isaac didn't understand, but he knew his father loved him, and so he trusted him. He climbed up onto the altar, and Abraham tied his boy to the wood. Oh, Kelsey, I'm getting scared. I know, me too. My stomach's kind of hurting. Isaac didn't try to run or struggle or get away. He just lay there quietly, and he didn't even make a sound. Everything was ready. Abraham took the knife. Tears were filling up in his eyes. Pain was filling up in his heart and his hand was shaking. He lifted the knife high into the air. <coughs> Stop! God said, oh, Don't hurt the boy. Oh, I want him to live and not die. Oh, I know now that you love me because you would have given me your only son. Oh, wow. wow. Oh. Abraham felt his heart leap with joy. He unbound Isaac and folded him in his arms. Great sobs filled his eyes, and for the first time in a long time, they stayed there like that in each other's arms, the boy and his dad. Suddenly, Abraham saw a ram caught in some brambles. It was a sacrifice. God had given them what they needed just in time. The ram would die so Isaac didn't have to. And so Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. Oh, wow. oh, praise God for providing a sacrifice. Praise God. And they sat there on the mountaintop watching the embers of the fire die down in the cool night air. The stars above them sparkling in the velvet sky. Ooh, I bet those stars reminded them of God's promise to Abraham yes. to make his family great. God helped Abraham and Isaac understand something. God wanted his people to live, not die. God wanted to rescue his people, not punish them. 
but they must trust him. One day, someone will be born into your family, God promised them, and he will bring happiness to the whole world. God was getting ready to give the whole world a wonderful present. It would be God's way to tell his people, I love you. Oh. Many years later, another son would climb another hill carrying wood on his back. Like Isaac, he would trust his father and do what his father asked. He wouldn't struggle or run away. Who was he? Does anybody know who it is? Yeah? Should we shout it? Roscoe, do you know? Uh, I don't uh, Maybe, but I'm not sure. Okay, okay. On the count of three, let's shout it. One, two, three. Jesus! 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 Yes! Yes! yes. That's right. You knew it, Roscoe. So he would come, Jesus, his only son, the son he loved, the Lamb of God. Oh. What do you think of that story, Roscoe? Well, pretty scary at times. And I got confused, but God, God came through. He can be trusted. He can be trusted. Do you notice any of the feelings that Abraham was feeling that maybe you felt? Also, in your situation with Matthew and the Nintendo? Oh, yeah. Like feeling scared and maybe a little sad and, and nervous. Yeah. Do you realize, like, just like Abraham, when God calls you to do something hard, like be honest and tell the truth about your mistakes and make them right, that He is always faithful to give you what you need? He will provide. You can trust him. Really? Yeah. Like in our story, Abraham didn't understand and he knew God was asking him to do something super hard, right? Can you imagine how hard that was? Uh, I, don't, I can't imagine. I mean, way harder than having to tell your friend you broke their Nintendo Switch, right? No. He thought God wanted him to kill his only son. And it was a test. Do you see how it was a test to see if Abraham loved God most, even more than his own son? Mm -hmm. Yes. And when Abraham obeyed, then God gave him what he needed. He stopped him from killing his son. And then what did he give him? A, a ram. A ram to be a sacrifice. God was trustworthy and he gave him what he needed. So, Roscoe, what do you need? What do you need in your situation with Matthew? Well, I, I probably need a towel to dry off his video game. Yeah, that's a good start. Um, and I think I need some courage. Courage. And um, I really just need to trust God that it'll be okay. Yes, God can be trusted that it'll be okay, and he can be trusted to give you courage. He wants you to do what the right thing is. Kelsey? Yeah, Roscoe? Do, do you think Matthew will understand that it, it was an accident? I think Matthew will be very forgiving and gracious. Really? I really do. He loves Jesus also. And you know what, Roscoe? I've got a few things to handle around here, but later, if you would like, I can go with you to talk to Matthew if that would help you have courage. Would you really? I'd be happy to. Oh, Kelsey, that would help a lot. I don't want to do it alone. Okay, perfect. Hey, Roscoe, why don't maybe you go spend some time praying for courage, and then I'll meet you at your house later, and we can go see Matthew together. Okay. Does that sound good? Thank you, Kelsey. Okay, Roscoe, let me give you a high five. I'm proud of you. Thank it's going to be great. Goodbye, everybody. Good to see you. Bye, Roscoe. Ah, 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 ah. Bye, Roscoe. Oh, Woo! You oh. just missed Roscoe. No way. I, I love Roscoe. Hey, where where have you been? Um. Tell the truth. Okay. I. So I heard the ice cream truck. Yeah. And and I really love ice cream. And. <laughs> To be honest, I even got you some. Are you serious? Well, well where is it? Hand it over. It looked really good. Oh, no.
I'm so sorry. I ate it. You ate my I'm ice so cream. sorry, Kelsey, but, but uh, look, next time, look, next time I'll get you two scoops okay. and I won't eat it. Okay? I'll I'm, forgive you this time. Okay. Thank uh, you. I know, it's hard. Uh, ice cream is the best. So good. Hey, I gotta fill you in. Okay. I, I hope you're not upset. I kind of have something to tell you too. Oh, it's okay. What? We had most of our explorers meeting without really? you. Oh, that's okay. I mean, I did eat your ice cream. I know. Okay, okay, okay. let's call it even. Okay. So here's the deal. Roscoe ah. showed up and he had a big problem. <gasps> why, why? Do you guys want to tell him? Okay, so he got to borrow Matthew's new Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah, that thing's awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but he he dropped it in the... Tell him. <laughs> in the toilet. He dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> while the he was toilet? Going, while he was going to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. no. Yes. And so oh. he hasn't told Matthew about it yet. Are you serious? I bet and he, he, he was afraid. Matthew really loved that present. I know, I know. It's a hard thing to tell, but we tried to show him through scripture yeah. what he's supposed to do. We explored and we found a truth. <gasps> okay? What truth did you find? The truth is that we trust God. Oh, yeah. We yeah. trust God. So even when you're afraid, you can trust God to give you what yeah, you need. That's right. Yeah. You want to know what story we talked about? Yeah, I'd love to. Another Abraham and Isaac. Oh, wow. But this time is the one where God asked Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. No way! Yeah, we were freaked out, but oh, it turned out so good. So he's okay. It turned out so good. Okay, okay. Isaac got to live, okay. and God, he was trustworthy, and he oh. provided a sacrifice. He provided exactly awesome. what Abraham needed. Yes. So that's what we told Roscoe, okay. right? And did, did it help? It helped. He's feeling better. Okay, he went good, home good. to pray about yeah. what he needs to do and to ask for courage. Yeah. So that's where he is now. Okay. But you didn't miss the whole meeting because we haven't prayed and we haven't sang. Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So what do you want to do first? Um. Let's see. Um, so if we sing first? I would love to sing okay, first. Right. Oh, I have the greatest idea. I want to teach you a song. Yes. I awesome want to teach y'all a song. You, you too? Okay. Yeah, okay. This is a new one. I don't think you know me. Okay. But every day when I wake uh -huh. up, this is how I like to start my day. Okay. It's a song to God about how I want to follow him and okay. trust okay. him. Okay. All right. We should use our binoculars. Oh. Get yours. Get yours. Hey, guys. Get your binoculars. Yeah, get yours. Yeah. Okay. Everybody okay. got them? All right. Okay. Now, it's a song saying good morning to God. So, the first thing we're going to do is say, good morning, God. Good morning, God. This is your day. This is your day. I am your child. I am your child. Show me your way. Ooh, show me your way. Good morning, God. Good morning, God. This is your day. This is your day. I'm ready. I'm ready. To do your will. To do your will. That means you're ready to do whatever God leads you and asks you to do. Yeah. Whatever you find in his truth and his scripture, you'll do it. You'll follow him. Okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I'm ready to do your will. How'd it go? That was pretty good. Catching on? Yeah, I am. How'd y'all? Y'all want to do it one more time? One more time? Okay. One more practice. Okay. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me a way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I'm ready to do your will. Very oh, good. That's great. Thank you, Kelsey. I love that, that awesome. song. Awesome. Okay. Do you know any other songs? Um, I, I know this one song. I, I sometimes forget the words, but it's about... Like, I'll follow God wherever he leads me or something like that. Where he leads me, I will follow? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. I love that one. Yeah. And, oh, we can use our binoculars uh, again. That's right. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. okay, you ready? Yeah. Where, where he leads me, I will follow. Where, where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him. All the way. Oh, that was That's a good, good. one. Yeah, my nice. grandma used to sing that one to me. That was really yeah. good. Hey, oh. do any friends want to lead a song? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Who? Let's oh. look. Oh, look over there. Yes. Yeah, okay, it. take it away. Awesome. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's 
got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got mama and daddy in his hands. He's got brother and sister in his hands. He's got grandparents and cousins in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And he loves you too. Ah! It's God loves him all. Blessings love. Raise him all creatures. He really loves. Praise him above the heavenly Oh. Okay. Well, you want to pray? Oh, yep. we should pray for Roscoe. You're right. He I... needs to really trust God and to yeah. have some courage. Absolutely. And I mean, I didn't get to see him, but do you think it's okay if I pray for him? Still? I would love for you to pray for him. Okay. Okay. Yeah, all right. Let's do that. Okay. Um, all right. So just so I remember, Roscoe dropped Matthew's Nintendo Switch in the toilet. Yes. He hasn't told him yet. Yeah. And so we're really praying that he can have the courage and the trust in God to tell Matthew the truth. Right. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the ice cream that I got to have. Thank you for friends like Kelsey who forgive their friends when they eat their ice cream. But also, I pray for our friend Roscoe. God, I know he didn't mean to drop that Nintendo Switch in the toilet. I also know that it was Matthew's favorite gift. So Father, we just pray that, that Roscoe can trust you and that he can have courage and that he can know that no matter what happens, that you're going to take care of him. And Father, we really think that Matthew's going to understand it. It was an accident. But Father, just we pray for Roscoe to have courage and to trust in you and to do the right thing. And it's in Jesus, our King, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thanks for praying with yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, I hope Roscoe is ready to tell Matthew. Hey, I told him that I would go with him to help him have courage. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go with us? Oh, I would love that. I think that would make him feel even better. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, guys, we'll see you next week. We're going to go help Roscoe. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.